Elon Musk, the company's CEO, officially opens Tesla's fourth gigafactory. This milestone was achieved about two and a half years after Tesla first announced plans to build a factory on site, located just outside of Berlin, Germany. It is officially known as Tesla's Giga Berlin Brandenburg factory. Stay tuned in this video to learn about development and inner workings of the Giga Berlin factory. Giga Berlin has been in the works for several years. It is critical to Tesla's global expansion plans following the late 2019 opening of its Giga Factory 3 plant in Shanghai. On March 22nd, Elon Musk officially opened Tesla's first manufacturing facility in Europe as the company seeks to relieve pressure on its other factories in the United States and China. Musk was seen dancing as he presided over the delivery of Tesla's first German-made vehicles to 30 clients and their families at the carmaker's $5.5 billion plant in Germany. Gruenheide, which is 30 kilometers southeast of Berlin, was the chosen site of the Giga Berlin factory. This site was chosen by Musk because Bradenburg has the highest per capita production of green energy in Germany. There were already a large number of qualified workers in the area, which is extremely useful when the Gigafactory required tens of thousands of workers well-versed in green energy. According to Routers, Musk said, this is a great day for the factory, before praising the launch as another step in the direction of a sustainable future. The Tesla CEO reminisced about the company's Shanghai factory opening in January 2020, during which he also demonstrated some of his next-level dance moves. While Tesla believers rejoiced, the Giga Berlin factory did receive some opposition. Several protesters gathered outside the facility on March 22nd to voice their concerns. They were concerned that the plant would consume too much water, and they were dissatisfied with the number of trees sacrificed to build it. All of this began at the start of 2020, when around 250 critics gathered to protest against the Giga Berlin settlement. The protesters were concerned about the deforestation and the wildlife disturbances that the Giga Berlin factory would cause. Rightfully so, 30 harvesters cut down dozens of hectares of pine forests in a matter of days in preparation for building the factory. Environmental groups were suing to stop the deforestation to no avail. Environmental concerns have surrounded the factory since its early planning stages, dating back to February 2020, when Tesla was forced to temporarily halt construction on the site. However, Tesla and its CEO have consistently defended the factory's environmental impact. Musk claims that the Gigafactory will use relatively little water, and that the forest that had been cleared in order for it to be built was not natural. It had been planted to supply an older cardboard factory. Tesla argued in a letter to a local court that Germany's regulatory framework directly contradicts the urgency to plan and realize such projects are required to combat climate change. Subsequent delays occurred in July 2020, when Tesla submitted new construction plans to the authorities for approval, where it met government resistance. According to sources, the first documents were hastily compiled and incomplete, and Tesla was forced to revise the factory design in response to criticism that the factory should no longer use 3.3 million cubic meters of water per year, but only 1.4 million cubic meters as of January. These protests and environmental concerns eventually led to the postponement of the grand opening of the Berlin plant which was originally planned for the summer of 2021. Despite the delay, the plant was built on March 4, 2022. Tesla finally received conditional approval to open its plant for production. Elon Musk once stated that his team briefly calculated how much power was required to transition the entire world to sustainable energy. And the answer is 100 gigafactories. The salaries at Giga Berlin are extraordinary. Even entry-level positions will earn at least $3,000 per month. And Tesla is perfectly fine with hiring people who have been out of work for a long time or have no relevant training. According to Routers, the company has already hired over 3,000 of the 12,000 workers who will eventually staff the factory. Despite the fact that the factory is now operational, Musk has previously stated that ramping up production will be the real challenge. According to German publication Automobil Wacke, the German publication Automobil Wacke, the Tesla hopes to ramp up production to around 1,000 units per week in January, with the factory contributing a maximum of 30,000 vehicles in the first half of 2022. Eventually, Tesla has stated that it hopes to produce up to 500,000 cars per year at this site. Aside from mass production, new technology is being tested at the Giga Berlin factory. This includes a new battery design and the use of the 4680 Tesla-made battery cells. These battery cells are six times more powerful than Tesla's previous battery cells and will have a five-hold increase in energy capacity. According to Musk, the manufacturing process will also be 56 times cheaper, which is good news for the Tesla fans who are hoping for the elusive $25,000 Tesla Model 2 to arrive. Could the Giga Berlin eventually begin producing this cheaper model? 
Some electric vehicle enthusiasts believe that once the less expensive model goes into mass production, they will be priced the same as their fossil fuel powered counterparts, but they will be far less expensive to operate and maintain. This is fantastic news, because if Tesla can produce their own batteries, they will be able to begin production on the Tesla semi-truck. The first semi-trailer is expected to arrive at the end of 2022. The formation of a European manufacturing hub is a significant logistical victory for Tesla, which currently exports its vehicle to European customers from its other factories around the world. The Berlin factory is the fourth location after Nevada, New York, and Shanghai. A fifth factory is currently under construction in Texas, where the company's headquarters will also be established. Tesla will be able to cut cost by producing in Europe, while also filling European customer orders more quickly. Tesla is well on its way to following in the footsteps of Japanese international combustion car makers, such as Toyota Motor Corporation and Honda Motor Company, which established manufacturing plants in the United States and other countries to gain market share. How are Teslas produced, you might ask? And the answer to that is the machine that creates machines. Yeah, you heard that right. This vision arises from Musk's desire to improve product density and exit velocity from factories, as well as to focus more on the efficiency gains that can be attained from improving the manufacturing process. To put it another way, shifting the emphasis from improving the machines to improving the machines that makes the machines. In Tesla's Gigafactory, robots are everywhere, and Berlin is no exception. Heavy lifting tasks are carried out by cutting-edge intelligent machines. Some are simple transport robots that move items from one area of the factory to another. They have motion sensors built into the front to keep them from collapsing, and other technology that lowers production time. Time. However, robots can and frequently do fail. Musk's vision is to perfect the manufacturing process by fine-tuning all the machines that contribute to the production process. In turn, these well-oiled machines will produce near-perfect Tesla vehicles. Aside from fine-tuned machines, Musk believes in comprehensive training for its human workers to perform the more detailed tasks that the robots struggle with. These tasks necessitate meticulous attention to detail, such as threading wires through the interior of a car or completing a task in a slightly different manner each time. Overall, Musk looks to fully optimize his new Giga Berlin factory. Giga Berlin provides production capacity and battery technology that could allow Tesla to outperform its European competitors. While full capacity is still a long way off, the factory will be a critical catalyst for Tesla's growing presence in the European EV market.